All right, folks, here we are in the lesson synthesis, and it sa says define congruent in your own words. So, um, you know, you, you, it's hard telling uh, what you said here. Uh, you may have had something different than me, uh, but some important things that you should have said to define congruent in your own words is uh, same side lengths and same angle measures okay these are the two you gotta have both of these not one or the other you gotta have both of these same side lengths and same angle measures okay um, how can you check if two shapes are congruent well there are a couple of things you could do you could uh, measure uh, sides and angles right you could do that but probably the fastest way is uh, Use tracing paper. Okay, now here's the add on to that. Um, if we can use rigid transformations, I should I should say we can use rigid transformations to show it is congruent, okay? If it lands directly on it through rigid transformations, then we're good, okay? Um, are a shape and its mirror image congruent? Okay, we, this was, we talked about this yesterday with the hands and we talked about it uh, on the first part with these silly little circle swirly things here. Um, and I said, before I said maybe, and, and the answer is, is actually yes, uh, yes it is. Um, yes, because we can use rigid transformations. Okay, that's a, we can use a reflection to match it with the original, okay? What are some ways you know that two shapes are not congruent? Well, uh, we went through this exercise where we used uh, tracing paper here. That's one way to tell, tracing paper, measuring, we could measure. But another way is down here, if they have the same perimeter and area, then they are congruent. If they have the same perimeter uh, but not the same area, they're not congruent, right? So like uh, these two, E and D, those are not congruent because they have different areas. If you look at them, E and, uh, I'm sorry, uh, D and E, uh, D and E are right here, sorry. Uh, D and E are definitely not congruent. So we could do, we could put, what are some ways we know? Um, we could measure. We could use uh, tracing paper. Right, so you do rigid transformations. Um, we could um, check perimeters and our perimeter and area the same. Um, what are some properties shared by congruent shapes? That would be same perimeter and area not one or the other both of them okay both of those have to be true some properties same perimeter and area okay here we go lesson summary lesson summary on this i'm going to get a highlighter real quick it says uh congruent is a new term all right i think i've used it said it but uh, it's a new term for an idea uh we have already been using we see that two figures are congruent if one can be lined up exactly with the other by a sequence of rigid transformations, that's tracing paper, guys. We use tracing paper. But if you could see it without tracing paper, uh, you know, you can figure it out. If, here's the big idea, if you can translate, rotate, and or reflect one figure onto the another, they are congruent. They are congruent. Here's some other facts about congruent figures. Uh, we don't need to check all the measurements. We just have to find a sequence of transformations, rigid transformations that match, that line them up. So we don't have to get out our rulers and measure everything, 
If we can use reflection, rotation, and translations uh, to get it there, one on top of the other, we're good. A figure that looks like a mirror of another figure can be congruent to it. This means there must be a reflection in the sequence of transformations, right? If there's a reflection and it lines up, then we're good. Uh, since two congruent polygons have the same area and same perimeter, one way to show that two polygons are not congruent is to show they have different perimeter areas. So if you can show me um, these two figures have a different perimeter or have a different area than each other, then we can say they're not congruent. Okay, so that's a way to say they're not congruent. So that is this uh, section. That is the lesson synthesis. Uh, that is lesson 11 summary. And if we need to talk about this more on uh, Monday, we will. We probably will. And so anyway, uh, work well on the practice problems.